is urban legend Rudy Giuliani pretending last night that back in his days as mayor of New York, he was a successful terrorism fighter. I truly believe that if, if competent decisions were made, the four people in Benghazi who are now dead would now be alive. And I'm not just talking about that night. I'm talking about in the six months before that. I believe that political necessities trumped sensible security decisions. There's no possible way if I had found out for six months that one of my police precincts was being attacked that I would deprive it of security. And if I did, there's no possible way the New York press corps would let me get away with it. No possible way. No. No. You know, the fact that Rudy Giuliani was an unwitting accomplice of Al-Qaeda's has mostly escaped attention outside of New York, which is why Giuliani was in Boston today campaigning with Republican Senate candidate Gabriel Gomez at the location of the Boston Marathon bombing. For the moment, never mind the depravity of Giuliani and Gomez using the Boston Marathon bombing location as a political campaign stop. Let's tonight focus on the decisions Rudy Giuliani made that killed firefighters on 9-11. Here's what happened when Giuliani tried to play his super rear, superhero role while testifying to the 9-11 Commission in New York City. That was the mother of a New York City firefighter who was telling Giuliani that her son was murdered because of Giuliani's incompetence. The World Trade Center was first attacked by Al-Qaeda in 1993. The bombing killed six people and injured more than a thousand. A report issued later showed that the firefighters' radios did not work when they responded to that first attack on the World Trade Center eight years before 9-11. Giuliani took seven years to replace those radios, and he did it through a sweetheart deal with a no-bid contract. Six months before 9-11, Giuliani replaced the defective radios with a new set of radios that also did not work. At 9.32 a.m. on September 11th, Chief Callan ordered all FDNY members in the North Tower to the lobby. He repeated the command, but not a single company answered. At 9.59, the South Tower collapsed. FDNY's Chief Pfeiffer then repeated the order for all units to evacuate the North Tower. Firefighters had 56 minutes after the first call and 29 minutes after the second order to get out. While all police officers left the building, 121 firefighters never made it out. That day my son was working and they didn't hear the call. 121 guys didn't hear the call in the North Tower to get out. And, they, and the police officers heard it because their radios worked and ours didn't. The 9-11 Commission, which included politicians who were friends of Rudy Giuliani, concluded a technical failure of FDNY radios was a contributing factor to many of the firefighter fatalities in the North Tower. Now, there is an official finding that Rudy Giuliani's gross incompetence and possible corruption in awarding a no-bid contract cost firefighters their lives. Giuliani has never apologized. And he has more to apologize for than just that. He made more contributions to the chaos of 9-11. He violated every professional recommendation about where to locate the emergency command and control center. The professionals wanted to locate it in Brooklyn, out of the way of potential terrorism targets. Giuliani, against every recommendation, decided to actually locate it in the World Trade Center because he wanted it to be within walking distance of City Hall, both for him and for the media he hoped would follow him there in any situation so he could be on camera as much as he loved being on camera. He was warned by his police commissioner not to locate the World Trade Center which the, in, in that loca not to locate the emergency command center at the World Trade Center because the commissioner already was calling that ground zero because of the prior attack by Al-Qaeda on the World Trade Center. But Rudy Giuliani ignored him.
And when I was down there on 9-11 that day, I've seen police detectives yelling in the streets that we told him not to put it here, you know, because that was the, the, the target of the terrorists. Mayor Giuliani was running on the street, and he was talking to the media instead of being in a controlled environment. And today, Rudy Giuliani was walking on the street where the Boston Marathon bombing occurred, talking to the media. There was probably no one on that street who knew what Giuliani did to add to the death toll on 9-11. But New York firefighters and their families will never forget. The things that we needed to do our job even better, we didn't have because of his administration. So ultimately, the mayor of New York at the time, Mr. Giuliani, he has to bear these responsibilities. And I blame Giuliani. He was the leader that day. And he was the leader for the eight years leading up to that. I wish I could put him on the stand where he'd have to put his hand on the Bible and swear to tell the truth.